Hi everyone, I'm Matt Alvarez. Michael Copley, the Altoona man accused of killing his wife in 2015, has been found guilty of murder in the third degree. That verdict coming down just hours ago from a Blair County jury. So let's get right to our Courtney Murphy, who has more from today's court proceedings, along with reaction from the victim's family. Good evening, Courtney. Good evening, Matt. It took the jury just six hours of deliberation for that final verdict to come down. And tonight, the family says they have closure. After a week-long trial, 33-year-old Michael Copley has been found guilty of murder, aggravated assault, and abuse of a corpse in the death of his 29-year-old wife, Catherine. Copley's wife went missing in 2015. Six months later, her body was found in a garage. I'm happy that they put him away and he's going to be in jail for a long time, I hope. Catherine's mom and sister, Amy, say they finally have closure after years of pain. And I pray that my daughter is up in heaven watching over us right now so she can get her justice and she can rest in peace. You know, I would never forget her. I still think of her every day, every minute of the hour. But I know she's at peace now because she's been crying out for the last five years. We finally got a lot of our answers that we were looking for the last five and a half years, and I'm very grateful that we got them and have closure now. During closing arguments, the prosecution urged jurors to look at circumstantial evidence. Michael's DNA was found under Catherine's fingernails, and cell phone data placed Michael's cell phone at the same garage where Catherine's body was found. Very long road for the family, for the investigators. What started as a missing persons case in 2015 uh, as Attorney Smith said in her closing, was built literally brick by brick over the years. Great to get some closure for the family and frankly for the community in a case like this. Uh, I think this is the case that not only impacted the family but the community at large. A sentencing date will be decided in the near future. For now in Blair County, I'm Courtney Murphy, WTAJ News. Courtney, thank you for that.